Welcome back. Under the patronage of President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, the activities of the 6th edition of Cairo Water Week kicked off on Sunday. On the 29th of October, under the theme Action on Adaptation in the Water Sector for Sustainability. Well, to discuss this in more details and more about the importance of this event over the four Geber Shadid, and he's a professor of hydrogeology and former president of Fayyum University. Hello? 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 Good morning. Good morning, sir. So, first of all, um, I want to shed the light on the significance of this important event. Uh, at, the out, at the outset, I would like to thank you, uh, your respected channels, and your uh, honorable viewer for this intervention. Let's first get a simple idea about this important scientific event. Six Cairo Water Weeks during the period from October 29 to November 2, 2023. Cairo Water Weeks is an applied global scientific event that is mainly concerned with all water issues in the whole world. And the first week was appeared in 2018. And since this date, and as a result of the success, achieved by the first edition of the week. This week has been held annually since 2018, as it has become one of the most important international events related to water at the regional and international level. This, uh, this uh, week has uh, many activities during uh, five days, including competitions, including uh, scientific uh, conference, including the workshop, all this activity will deal with water sector all over the world. Sir, what are the important files to be discussed during this event? The uh, important uh, aims of this week can be summarized in uh, uh, six points. Number one, integrating the water issue facing the climatic changes. Number two, discussing the effects of climatic change on the water sector. Number three, using the modern technology and innovation to solve water problems around the world. Work to support important integrated water management policy and international laws and rules governing the relation of country involved in water resources. Right. If I'm talking about the uh, important measures to be adopted immediately for the sake of this uh, important issue, what are these measures? Okay. Uh, uh, there are many measures that can be taken to achieve uh, sustainability in water uh, sector, including good water management of good water, uh, good management of water resources. Uh, using of modern technology in the management of water resources, application of modern irrigation system in irrigation process, search for new source of uh, usable water as uh, waste, waste water treatment and desalination process, search for groundwater aquifer, especially in the deep groundwater aquifer, channel coverage and uh, development of new plant streams that need a small quantity of water. Uh, also, uh, one of the important things uh, that can help to uh, eliminate uh, the challenges of water in general has to do with the awareness itself. So, uh, can we shed the light on how important it is to work more on the awareness in general? Yeah, okay, um, uh, the, the culture of, uh, of, um, of, of uh, rationalized water consumption has become an urgent, especially in light of the high population growth, in addition to the stability of the Egyptian annual share of Nile water. Therefore, effort must be combined to spread awareness of the importance of uh, uh, rationalization in the consumption of water resources among citizens. This can be occurred through uh, the need of educated citizens about the importance of water and the importance of uh, its consumption, 
open the tap only we need it. It is necessary to install water saving parts, periodic rubber of water pipes that cause water leakage. Watering the plant early in the morning in order to avoid significant water evaporation, which forces the former to increase the number of irrigation time. Using the modern methods for irrigation, especially drip irrigation, in order to avoid losing a lot of water, and finally treating the wastewater so that it becomes suitable for irrigation operation more than one time. Right. Um, actually, uh, talking about all the challenges uh, we are facing, uh, how far can the latest technologies uh, that we are witnessing nowadays can help in these challenges as well? Scientific and uh, knowledge process play an important role in eliminating the current and future water challenges through the use of modern technology and uh, management of water resources. The use of modern technology in the, in the search for non conventional resources of water and the using of modern technology in predicting climatic change. Also, use of genetic engineering and the discovery of new plant varieties with little need of water consumption. Also, the uh, repercussions of climate change uh, is affecting uh, and adding to the water challenges severely. How do you see this and how far it is important also, and we have seen this actually adopted by the Egyptian leadership, searching for more channels for water and the diversification of our sources? Okay, climatic change highly affected on different sectors in the nature, especially in water sectors. This can be occurred through uh, develop the good water consumption procedure, good management of water resources, and early prediction of expected climatic change that can be affected on water resources, and in the, uh, intensifying the search for non conventional sources of water. Sir, talking in general about all the water challenges that we have seen, and the cognitive issues related uh, to this, especially when it comes to citizens themselves. Uh, I'm talking about the community, uh, people, uh, children. Well, definitely this is of great importance, even reaching children, and children will reach the parents and people around. Uh, uh, we have seen in the past people using uh, excessive water in the streets, for example, for no reason at all. So working more on this, uh, how do you see it? How far is it important? Are we doing enough in this respect? Okay, uh, uh, as we say, uh, uh, there are... Uh, <laughs> Uh, and, and raise awareness to towards the uh, uh, rationalize of water consumption in, in, uh, in the world. And this uh, mainly concern uh, deals with the uh, citizens, uh, uh, people in the in, in, uh, in house, uh, people in the farm, uh, with uh, little, uh, uh, little amount of water, especially. If we know that the amount of water in Egypt is limited uh, annually, and uh, due to the high degree of population, the need of water uh, will increase, then we should uh, conserve a large amount of water. We should use uh, a little amount of water in my uh, house. We should uh, use a little amount of water in irrigation process. Uh, this can be uh, occurred by new technology, by awareness, uh, uh, and so on. How do you see the efforts exerted by Egypt when it comes uh, to uh, using modern technology in agriculture in general and reaching farmers, teaching them modern techniques uh, to help them, uh, of course, in agriculture and, uh, of course, uh, moreover, to uh, protect and work more on uh, water scarcity and challenges? Modern technology can be, uh, can be used in, uh, um, in water management resources can be used for research for non conventional resources, can be used for uh, observing a new resources of water as uh, groundwater, 
modern technology can be used for desalination process can be used for re uh, using a pre irrigated water uh, after treatment by uh, uh, by different uh, steps um, uh, as that occurred in Egypt uh, in the last uh, year. Right. Um, talking about uh, the water challenges and also about this important event, uh, as we understood, this is the sixth edition. So um, could you tell us more about what comes usually after? I mean, do we have recommendations uh, to be delivered or uh, to be adopted? And then uh, which entity will follow these recommendations and start working on? As we say, uh, the, the, the first uh, water uh, water leak uh, occurred uh, at the last year. Uh, all the communication will be presented uh, during uh, COP 27, which uh, which hold in Sharm el Sheikh last year. Also, the recommend uh, this water week or the, or the fifth or sixth water week, pending and the recommendation will be presented and discussed during the COP 28, which we held in uh, United Arab of Emirates at the, uh, the next year. Right. So at the end, how do you see um, the importance or the impacts of such events uh, to confront the challenges we are facing? Okay. Uh, this, uh, this week is uh, considered as one of the most important weeks uh, all over the world. Uh, uh, this, uh, this can be noticed from the annual uh, holding of this uh, week um, uh, through uh, 2028 20, till now. This week uh, contains all different researchers and scientific researchers from all over the world, which mainly concerned with uh, water uh, and its uh, using and its prediction and its treatment. Uh, this, uh, give, uh, this week is a very high importance uh, as a scientific event. Right, uh, Dr. Ahmed uh, Geber, uh, Shadid, Professor of Hydrogeology and former uh, President of Fayoum University. Thank you very much for joining us. Right, uh, moving on to a quick break, then we'll be back with more on The Breakfast Show. <laughs> 